Uh, it's time for me to go? Yes, sir. <laughs> We're just talking about, you know, he just asked me if, uh, you know, I think about what could have happened if you didn't go down. And I said, I live in reality. Yes, sir. We can't worry about what the should have, could have. But know. he asked, so he knows something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think would have happened? Would have been a lot different. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Very broad answer. I like that. I think it's True or not? time to go. I True. Think. True. Great Thank timing. You, uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Hell of a well, sub right. <laughs> So how much different would it would have been, you think? It would have been different. Like you said, it would have been different. But living reality, uh, going to the off season, keep working. How, how do you kind of put this year into perspective? Obviously, the injury was unfortunate, the timing, but you played more than you ever had in the regular season. Uh, like I said uh, before, it's really bittersweet. Because uh, even in OKC, even in Smoothie King, looking around and I'm just like, this is the playoffs. Everybody has the same shirt on. The fans are into the game. Uh, it was bittersweet, but I was still happy for my guys. I know that wasn't the way it was ended, but how much pride do you take in 70 games played this season? Um, that was definitely a step in the right direction. Um, looking to build on that next season. And hopefully do what I need to do so I can participate in the playoffs next year. You, uh, everybody has kind of talked about how much growth they've seen from you, and not just on the court, because that's always been there, but just everybody's been you know, very flattering about the person you've become. Do you feel like this is your team and this is kind of your time to continue <laughs> that? Uh, I think that'd be up to my teammates and the staff. But uh, I got to give my vets a lot of props to that. Um, CJ, Larry, Cody, JV, and uh, BI as well. Uh, those guys are pros, pros. So I was this year, instead of kind of being in my own little circle, I just kind of ask questions, ask them why they do certain things, and just try to incorporate it into my own life. So how did you learn to finish your Um, I learned how to, like, have fun with the game, like, a lot of fun with it without putting too much stress on, too much pressure on myself. Um, and I enjoyed it. Just talking about having fun while playing the game I love is, is something. So how did you finish with? 40 point game, and you already talked about you played the most games so far in the NBA. And then you go down with the injury. How are you doing mentally given all that? Uh, when it first happened, it was super frustrating. Uh, really frustrating because, uh, you know, I just felt like I was in that zone. Um, you know, when it happened, it's kind of new. That's why I look so frustrated. But, you know, like I said, just got to build on it into next season. and. Hopefully, participate in the playoffs next year. Yeah, Terry, you talked about the fact that that you guys weren't very close to your potential yet, but how close do you think this team is to what you really can be? I think we we've made a lot of like growth, but we still have a lot more improvements that we can make to be a special team. Uh, where we're at right now uh, is definitely not where we were at at the beginning of the year, but I still think we have a lot of room to grow. Your teammates talk a lot about the the work you put in, the, the habits, the approach and all that stuff, how that was uh, kind of uh, new or unproved this year. What did it take to kind of get to that point where you were able to establish the work that, that led to seven of games and, the, the, you know, the success this year? Um, you know, before I would always kind of just only focus on the court. But uh, this year it was more like massages, a lot more treatment, um, and just staying on top of, like, my body. Is that, have you went back and watched the Lakers game? Uh, I've seen a few clips, but honestly, uh, it's frustrating. It, it's tough. It's tough to watch. Because uh, uh, that was a big game for us. That was a really big game for us. And I felt like we had that one, but, you know, things happen. With the way that you changed your approach this season, are you going to change anything about what you do this summer? Uh, absolutely. I feel like there's always things that I can learn and grow from. So, uh, get a recap on the season and the things I did and see where I can improve. How much stuff is anyone in start to really, you know, we saw it a little bit, mm -hmm. and, and how comfortable are you getting to that nitty, getting to shooting more threes? It seems like later in the season, you, you started to grow that just a little bit more. 
Uh, honestly, just confidence. I think and just being on the court more just just gave me confidence. And then my teammates, uh, you know, my teammates watch me work on my jumpers every day after practice. Um, so, you know, they'll always be telling me, dude, shoot it. Like, it looks good. Like, shoot it. So it got to a point where I was like, you know what? Why not? And uh, I like the results. So I got a lot of room to grow there, too. I'm looking back on the season uh, and just thinking about the in-season tournament and everything that kind of happened after that, how much do you think that was kind of a significant moment in your career, just to have a different mindset, kind of carrying a chip on your shoulder after that? Uh, that was definitely a big moment for me. Um, because I didn't look to, I didn't look at anybody else. Uh, I looked at myself, and you know, I, I'll take full blame for that. I wasn't where I needed to be. I didn't perform the way I needed to perform. Um, but I think it was one of those things that I needed to experience because it definitely changed a lot for me during the season. Do you think you're on the verge of being the player that everyone thought you were going to be in this league? Uh, I don't know if that's an answer for me, a question for me to answer, but uh, I know where I'm going. And uh, I'm not going to speak too much on it, but uh, I know where I'm going. And uh, I know it's about to happen. You say you were much more vocal this year on the bench, you know, especially I think during the playoffs and talking about the game. Uh, just how much more comfortable do you feel letting your, your, your voice be heard on, on, on certain things? Uh, a lot more comfortable because uh, at the end of the day, we all have the same goal. We all want to win. But, you know, winning comes with a price. And I got to be vocal because the more vocal you are when you get on the court, it's easy to be more vocal on defense. So it's like a, a domino effect on why I was more vocal. But I think this team, we were all, we all communicated and we can only grow from there. Speaking of the defense, how much pride did you take in, in that area of your game this year? I got to give my respect to Najee, Dice, Jose, and of course, y'all know five. Uh, man, watching them dudes do what they do, as a competitor, when I see something like that, it's one of those, I got to get my shit together. Uh, and nah, Seriously, just like I'm watching her play free safety. I'm watching Naj and Jose and Dice pick up full court the whole time they're in the game. And I can't be the weak link. So I just, I really locked into it and just, there were a lot of games where I, I kind of went to the game like, nah, I need to lock in on defense. My offense going to come, but my defense need to be there. Is that you against yeah. LeBron, where he got behind you, and you, you caught up and swatted him? Would you have been able to do that, you think, a year ago? A year ago? Uh, athletically, yes. But uh, that was more IQ. Because uh, I think he had Jose guarding him on that play or somebody. And just kind of looking at where his eyes were on if he was going to pass it or if he was going to I tight the basket, so that was a uh, more IQ on that one. So I've grown defensively with my IQ. So I hope your message to fans next, you know, to what, what they should expect from you next season. Uh, what would be my message? I don't really got no spe specific message, but I mean, to the city, we appreciate the love, the support, and. You know, me and the guys are going to do what we need to do to, you know, bring the city what they deserve. You mentioned the importance of the vets on this team. Why do you think Larry became a finalist for the Teammate of the Year Award? What do you think is behind that of why he was nominated for that? Man, y'all talk to Larry. Y'all know what type of dude Larry is. Larry's just a good guy. Um, he's very vocal. He'll say the things that maybe people don't really want to say. Uh, but, you know, he also checks on everybody. Uh, he feel like if he feels like somebody's going through something, he'll be one of the first guys to reach out, check on you. Um, and it's beyond basketball for him. I think that's what makes him such a great guy because it's beyond basketball. Do you think, I know people forget, I mean, you were 18 when you got here. And, I mean, and before that, there's obviously a lot of, you know, high-profile moments. But do you feel like maturity-wise, professionally, like, it may have been tough at times, but the best is truly yet to come, and you are in a good spot right now, personally and professionally. I definitely do believe that. The best is yet to come. Um, 
And yeah, I think just the more I'm in the league, uh, the more I grow. And coming into this year, the talk was, you know, CB and C just got to have time together. They got to play more together. And now that y'all have that time together this year, what's the key to y'all just being more effective as a trio going into the next year? Uh, I mean, we figured it out a little bit, but I think my answer kind of going to be the same with that. The more we're on the court together, the better we are. You talk about stacking good days, and this year you focused on doing more stuff off the court as well. Just, do you think you found something from a nutrition standpoint this season that you can take with you and just move forward? Uh, absolutely, but like I said, I feel like there are always new things to learn. So get a recap of the season and start nitpicking what I could do better.